Jawan Howard shouldn't have thrown anything. Shouldn't throw the punch. And I know there's so many other conversations coming out of it. You know, Michigan shouldn't have trapped because if they hadn't trapped uh, at the end of a game where it was all over, then Wisconsin wouldn't have called a timeout. And Wisconsin didn't really need to call a timeout, so they shouldn't have called a timeout, but they did anyway. Pissed off Jawan Howard. But the only reason why Jawan Howard is pissed is because he trapped anyway. So the trap actually forced the timeout. And then, uh, you know, then then comes the conversation uh, um, on the handshake line. And uh, Jawan Howard was stopped. He actually got touched by Coach Greg Gard, who shouldn't have touched him, but he was trying to actually explain explained something to him, even though it's a handshake line and Juwan had no intention of talking to him, didn't want to hear from him, and he got touched by Greg Gard, and then that set things off, and then so on and so forth. Doesn't matter. None of what I just said matters when a head coach throws a punch or a hand or an open hand. Slap. Whatever you want to call yeah. it. A slap what or is an, a mush. I've a seen mush, so many yeah. other ways to describe punch, it. Though, he shouldn't yeah. have thrown a hand. My coach should not be throwing hands. Any coach should not be throwing hands. That's... The end of it. And then, you know, anybody who throws a hand and then makes excuses for throwing the hand makes it worse. This was my coach, Jawan Howard, after the game yesterday. Everybody's seen it. We talked about it. You've heard nonstop shows talking about it. And we're doing it now, too, because this is fodder for uh, our sports world. And it is a, a part of a, a conversation writ large about civility in the world and what we expect of our leadership. This was Jawan Howard afterwards. I didn't like the timeout being called, and I'll be totally honest with you. I, I thought it was uh, you know, not necessary at that moment, uh, especially being a large lead. Uh, and then for to have the timeout uh, be called with three seconds, four seconds to go, um, you know, I thought that that was you know, what I felt wasn't fair to our guys. And so that's, that's what happened. You know, I addressed with uh, the head coach that uh, I will remember that <laughs> because of that timeout and uh, for someone to touch me. And I think that was very uncalled for him to touch me as we were verbalizing and communicating with one another. So uh, that's what ended up happening. And that's what escalated it. What, 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 all I want to say is this. You can't throw a hand. Kids are all around there. What if he had hit? What if his hand had hit a kid? No, it's Woody Hayes, and then it's over. Then, then it's over, and I don't think it should be over. I don't want it to be over. How does that sound? I'm a Michigan alum. I know what this guy um, has done for my school. I know who he is. I know what he stands for. I know everything about Juwan Howard, and I know he went after the Maryland coach last year. And this isn't the first time, and that stinks. This is not what Michigan sports should be about. It's not what any sport should be about. I don't want him fired. Okay? I don't want this program to be upended by this mistake that he has is my in my opinion has earned the right to have a suspension and not a firing. I've seen so many people say this is a fireable offense uh, and you're like, well, it could have hit a kid. And then you'd fire him because that's that that would then boil it down to just the punch or the hand, or the mush, or the slap, or whatever you want to call it. But when there's a bunch of kids right around you, and I understand heat of the moment, and part, somebody put their hands on him, but you're still the head coach of the University of Michigan's college basketball team, and you can't throw a hand. So a suspension is forthcoming, and it's going to come, I guess, before Wednesday, because that's Michigan's next game. And I understand this is a frustrating season for my team, man. You know, last year we made it deep into the tournament. That game against UCLA was dynamite. You know, it was a little hard on the eyes in terms of the lack of scoring. But the fact that Jawan Howard can coach and he can coach this team and he knows he's proven he can be a big-time coach in this league, but he's got an anger issue with other coaches that I think is a problem. And this is not the way our program should be talked about. And he knows that. And there's no question he knows that. And, it, and the fact that Wisconsin was putting the bang thing on Michigan that can't seem to get some sort of traction like previous years. It's got to be frustrating. And then the head coach who called a timeout with a few seconds to go because as Greg Gard said, he didn't want to put his backups in a position 
where they would turn the ball over because he's put his backups in. Michigan's kept their starters in and they're pressing. So he called a timeout with a few seconds to go. And that pissed Jawan Howard off. And Jawan Howard had no intention of talking to this man. And this guy stopped him. And then that led to Jawan sticking his finger in, in Greg Gard's face saying, I'll remember this. And Gard had every right to basically say, well, then why the hell did you press with a few <laughs> seconds to go? Yeah, it makes sense. Like, I don't call timeout if you don't press. And again, these are, you hear the parsing of, well, you know, Greg Gard escalated it by not letting Jawan walk by. That's true. But the ultimate escalation is the throwing of a hand by a head coach of a big-time college basketball program that's just, as the athletic director, Ward Manuel, said, not acceptable. So what is acceptable? I, I, I would proffer to say in a suspension for the rest of the season. Michigan players are now in line for getting suspended because they were ending up throwing punches to try and defend their head coach, which I don't blame them for doing. Yeah. You know, kids are now in the process of, of being held accountable for the actions of grown men, including the assistant coach of Wisconsin. These are supposed to be the adults in the room. So, I, I don't want Jawan Howard fired. I, I didn't sit there for a single second and think this is untenable and that we can't put the toothpaste back in the tube and that, that this guy can't still be the head coach of the University of Michigan because there are decades, decades of meritorious service in support of the school as well as communities that Jawan Howard has touched. Those are my two cents on this. I don't want him fired. I want him back, and I want him to still be the head coach of this team, and I want him to learn from this experience. And he could sit there and go, I'm a grown-ass man. I've learned... All I need to know is don't call timeout on me and don't put hands on me when I'm trying to walk past you. And that actually just totally abdicates the fact that he threw a hand in the middle of a bunch of kids around him. And they're grown men too, but we call them kids because they are in relation to the age of Jawan Howard and Greg Gard and his staff. So. What say you? 844-204-RICH, number to dial. And... um, it, it was embarrassing. It's embarrassing for the school. It's embarrassing for the program. It's embarrassing for everybody in Maize and Blue. I can't deny that. It's the last thing I want. I was so looking forward to maybe Michigan making a nice little run and making the tournament here. They're staring down the NIT right in the face. And, you know, I just wish in a way Craig Card would have basically said, let's talk later on and did not put hands on Juwan. But that doesn't abdicate Jawan Howard from throwing a punch, man. Or slap or what have you. I'm wondering if this is a different school, a different player. Do I have a different opinion? No, I'm wondering if the outcry for firing would be different or if he was a white coach. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying, Christopher. It doesn't matter if you what you are or who you are when well, it comes it, to being a it, coach, but, but it, it does, does in terms of, for me, at the school, yeah. this is one of the fab five. This is one of the fab five. And when you have a family and somebody in the family has a problem moment, you don't excommunicate them. I'm you not know, even, I don't unless even it's something that it's a high crime. And, and this is something that for a head coach, you can't do. Thank God he didn't really connect. And thank God he didn't hit a, a player. You know. I don't mean for you personally. I just mean kind of in general for the college basketball oh, I just and, think, and the sports world. If this was a not Jawan Howard. Yeah, but, somebody wasn't a famous college basketball yeah, exactly, player and a famous exactly. NBA player. And, you know, I, I, I personally not don't. Not a famous program like Michigan. I don't think race has anything to do with it. Bob Knight put his hand on his own son's neck. You know, and he was practice, doing. A, that was a practice video that got leaked. That's true. I'm just saying that Bob Knight did many, many things from his position that we yep, talked about. And it cost him his job. And it did cost him his job because he put his hand on a player. Uh, 24 years of buildup. 
finally cost him I, the I, I th- Again, I don't yeah. want you. I'm sitting here as a Michigan guy, and I said everything I just said, and I don't want the man fired. I don't want him fired. I don't think this is a fireable offense for Jawan Howard at the University of Michigan. And we'll see what the Big Ten does first and see what Michigan does on top of it, although I think Michigan should act first, personally. Yeah, they should act today. I mean, you can't, you can't wait on this. They have till Wednesday. <laughs> and then we'll see what Michigan can do. Maybe they can rally around the coach not being there and make a run and see, you know, do you allow J- Jawan back for any postseason play? I say you suspend him for the rest of the regular season. That's my two cents. How many you games are left me? in the regular season? Five. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking that's a lot. I was thinking like 10, but five is, you know, that's not. Oh, and bad. if you want, you could suspend him for the Big Ten tournament too. Yeah, which could be. Well. I mean, I mean that that you could do that too. Uh, I, I I again a head coach with pushing and shoving, and you could say, well, they started it because they called a timeout that pissed us off, and they they could say, well, you didn't have to trap, did you? And then you could say, you know, he came at me in the uh, on the line, and I knew this was confrontational, and I was ready to walk past him. I wasn't going to stop him. I didn't go seek him out. He's the one who came to me, and when I'm trying to walk past him, he's like, hang on a minute, and put his hands on me. And that pissed me off. Well, then you need to be the bigger man around a bunch of other players and not throw a hand. But I love the guy. He's part of the Michigan family, and I don't want him fired for it. How about this? The third time could be the last strike. And I know somebody was saying to me that it's happened another time before. That escapes me. I don't know when that was. With Jawan? Yeah. Oh. I remember it was Maryland last year. He got kicked out of a Big Ten game in the tournament. Can't keep happening. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.